welcome man welcome back to the channel guys real quick yeah we're gonna do this real quick uh thursday tech talk thursday uh i try to indulge in a live stream every thursday and sunday at eight o'clock eastern standard time that is no secret everybody by now should know that all right now we're gonna do something today uh only because i took a rash of heat for this guys i don't know uh lately i've been uploading uh videos that for some reason turn out to be controversial i what i mean by controversial is either people have never heard of it or people perceive you doing it wrong or people just flat out don't give a damn and just want to bug me or just want to get my attention i it's very easy to get my attention First of all, all you got to do is comment. You're going to get my attention right there because I read every comment. Uh, now, as far as responding, uh, I, that take, that's time consuming. So I have, to have some time for that. But I'm going to read it. And if it's a little out of line, I'm going to comment. So that happened on a particular video. What's up, everybody? Let me get through this. That happened on a particular video I uploaded about two days ago. All right. Uh, yes, it was has something to do with break, stop, squeal. Where is it at? Right here. This stuff right here. Y'all see this? Uh, break, stop, squeal. Uh, in fact, I put up a little thumbnails. This stuff right here, guys. Uh, now, everybody knows, it's no secret, I am employed at three or four different shops, predominantly the dealer. Now, we was told, Valvoline make this. BG make their own version, and all the mock make their own. Everybody make their own version. But at the end of the day, this liquid is pretty much all the same. Now, I didn't get enough time to go and research this liquid and tell what it's made of and what it do, but this is called Break Stop Squeal. The design is what its name implies, to stop your freaking brakes from squealing. But the controversial come in at uh, why is it needed? <laughs> yes, that video, I put this on brand new freaking pass out of the box. Why, JT, why in the hell are you putting Break Stop Squeal on brand new freaking pass? Are the pads that you're installing on the car not worthy? Or are they going to squeak right out of the box? I don't know, man. Uh, now, guys, a couple of my employers, <laughs> we have rules. <laughs> yes, I have rules I have to abide by. The damn manager say, put this on every freaking brake job. Damn it, I'm putting this on every freaking brake job. Now, am I a big fan of this? Uh, No, guys, I'm no different than you guys, okay? I'm just, but again, when you have when you work at a place that have rules you have to abide by them the last thing i need is a uh, a customer to come back break squealing and it was determined that jt didn't use this even though he know the freaking rules even though he know the rules that are put into place jt didn't use it how would they know i didn't use it could they would they take the pads off and look no they would simply look at the ro and see was it built out now there's ways of getting around that, right? You can build some out and still not use it. My point is, if it's not built out, that insinuates that it was not used. So at that point, JT, come in the office. You're in trouble. Why in the hell you put stop squeal on brakes? Okay, this customer's back. Uh, brake squealing. We just did the brakes. Now, which begs the question, why in the hell brakes squealing that soon after they just been done? Guys, I think... Uh, now, I was hearing from a lot of DIY guys that do their brakes, they own brakes every 30,000 miles, <laughs> and some shops too, but at, at shops and establishment that do brakes 20, 30 times a day, yes, 1% <clears throat> is going to come back. To a huge shop, that 1% is a freaking lot, right? It looks bad on the establishment. It's a comeback, okay? Nobody wants to come back. So what manager, what Valvoline sell this? Again, there's different makes. Valvoline convinced the owners, you put this on here, you won't have that problem. Let us sell you some of this. <laughs> this is additive, okay? Basically additive. They in the business to sell stuff to be used. Is it needed? I don't know, man. We're going to go over some, uh, I got this screen pulled up because, uh, now my dude, uh, Fluffy Mexicanic, I see him using this all the time. Again, this has been the hour rules for the longest. I've been slacking. I haven't been using it. But uh, I had one come back. I put it on there. I ain't seen the car since. So does it work? It's, 
Is it needed? Is the point. Now, let's do this, guys. Let's go over some things, okay? I'm going to pull up. I'll be over there in a minute, guys. We're going to speak. I'm going to speak to everybody, and we're going to chop it up. I want to go over something real quick with you guys. All right, let's talk about this right quick. We're talking about break squill, right? Let me put some damn freaking glasses on. All right, BG had just happened to be pulled up. Again, everybody make their own visit. Does BG stop squill work? Let's take a look at this, guys, and see what uh, – now, this is just a uh, – okay, that ain't what I want. I'll, that's a video showing you how to do it. And, guys, for the record, this stuff go on the pad, okay? I know that look awkward to some of you people, all right? I can't believe you putting it on the pad. Yes, it is designed to go on the pad and soak into the pad. What can I put on my brakes to make them stop squealing? Let's take a look at that one. Um, If the shims, okay, they're talking about shim and hardware. If the shims are worn out, then it's time to replace them. You can, they talking about the anti-squeal, the wear indicator. I, I'm assuming that's what they're talking about. All right. That's not what I want. Why are my does why do cheap brake pads squeal? This is a given. Okay. I want to assume they squeal because they're cheap. All right. Um, uh, now, so we ain't gonna look at that one. That answers his own question. You buy cheap brake pads, expect for them to squeal. What's up, Rocks Roll? Stop the squeal, smack. That's it. Y'all heard what Rock said said. Uh, why are my brakes? Let's look, take a look at this one. As mentioned above, ceramic or metallic pads or moisture can cause pads to squeak. So moisture, guys, just say it rain overnight. Uh, you get up the next morning, go to work. You may potentially hear a little squeal. But the good news is it's not the end of the world. But I want to tell you something, uh, especially working at a big shop. The customer just spend, spent $1,600 on brand new rotors and brand new pads. You cannot tell them that. Okay, ma'am, uh, it was just a little rain outside. Uh, it's not the end of the world. You can't tell them that. They want results, and they don't want to hear absolutely nothing because quiet is kept. That's why they brought it to you in the first place. All right, let me finish this. This type of squeaking is usually harmless. It is. It's nothing. It means absolutely nothing, but females, rocks, rolls in them. Evelyn Rodriguez in here, yeah. Females tend to, I ain't picking on y'all, I'm just saying. They tend to uh, overreact. And panic, go into panic mode. Oh my goodness, I heard another squeal. Wait a minute, I just spent six hundred freaking dollars, guys. This squeaking is usually harmless, all right. But new brake pads can also squeak because of a foreign object. <laughs> really? All right. <laughs> Why are my brakes squealing after new pads? Ooh, this should be a doozy. Let's see what this one says. All right, bedding process. There's a process that has to go through. As mentioned, new pads are typically abrasive and are sometimes coated with protective elements that can cause noise. After some wear, sometimes referred to as bedding process, that brake pad squeak will go away. Again, customers that just spent $700 don't want to hear that. They ain't trying to hear none of this. They want results and they don't want it in the form of noisy brakes after they just spent money. So... It, I, the, so the general public, which brake pads are which brake pads squeal the most? Okay, let's do this one. All right, the front tires are usually more heavily coated than the rear, as the front brake pads typically provide the majority of stopping power, roughly seventy percent. These pads will make more noise than organic brake pads, and the driver at times will hear squealing and or grinding. Okay, which brake pads squeal the most? That didn't really answer the question. However, how long does it take for new brake pads to stop squeaking? Uh, let's see what this one's saying. New brake pads, it is quite common for new rotors or brake pads to squeak within the first few days. Is there any consumers in here? You guys are mostly mechanical inclined, mechanically inclined. You guys are typically DIY people. So y'all not understanding my pain before they completely broken in. So this first sentence, new brake pads. It is quite common for new rotors or brake pads to squeak within the first few days before they are completely broken in. If it has been more than a few days and the squeaking still hasn't stopped, you should have your brakes looked at by a professional. So what is he going to find? He's not going to find worn out brake pads. So what do you do? Do you take this BG Valvoline stuff and put it on the pad? Do you need to bed in new brake pads? Oh, let's 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 do this one. Okay. 
the break-in procedure is critical to break performance. Proper break-ins are necessary to establish an even layer of friction material deposited on the rotor from the brake pads. It is very important that this initial layer of friction material is evenly distributed. So that's done, I want to say, by a simple test drive. Go around the block. Guys, if you guys not test driving your cars after you do brake jobs, you are crazy. All right. That is the ooh, that is some risky stuff you're doing. What should you not do when changing brake pads? Oh, that's a video. This is my dude. I like this dude, but we can't watch his video right now. What happens if you change brake pads but not the rotors? Oh, that's called back pad slapping or not even cutting the rotor. Okay, this should be a doozy. The mismatch of old and new could cause a bit of noise and vibration as the two components, the pads and the rotor, get used to each other. When fitting new brake pads against old rotors, you also run the risk of uneven wear on the pads, which could result in having to replace them again sooner than you might. Uh, so that's not really a high bad thing to do what happened if you change brake pads but not rotors in other words pad slapping is not the end of the world guys you don't have to replace your rotors in some cases you don't even have to resurface them it depends on what the rotor is made of so uh i don't know man it's to each his own man bg stop squeal all right here's what they saying this stuff do the bg stop squeal eliminates annoying whining or squealing brakes when pressure is applied the vibrations are significantly reduced <laughs> so basically when you apply this three coatings guys i read that up somewhere we're not gonna go look at it but i read that somewhere uh three coat in fact is this it i read that somewhere it takes three coatings hold on let me see some most brake noise is caused by vibration that occurs when pressure is applied BG stop squeal will prevent that to happen. The idea here is to put four to five layers of stop four squeal on the brake pad before installation. Now remember, you need to wait about a minute between each layer for stop squeal to soak in the lining. Follow these steps so you can finish fast. Oh, okay. Open the new brakes and put the first layer. Put the car on the lift and apply the second layer. Second layer, so that's two layers. He Remove the there. tires and put the third layer three layers of this stuff. remove the old brake pads and put the fourth layer four layers okay all right i can't do this <laughs> now before installing make sure that the rotor's thickness yeah buddy uh okay guys four layers of this stuff is a little uh what's the point oh my goodness what is the freaking point <laughs> of getting new brake pads if that's the case all right well i'm at because this is crazy what is the point of uh <laughs> You pay $80 for a set of brake pads. Why is it suggested that you coat it four layers? Did y'all hear this dude? Four freaking layers of this. I don't know, man. Uh, but like I say, man, this uh, this all stemmed from a freaking... Uh, ooh, this guy. Ooh, ooh, man, they be hammering me. Uh, what is that? Where is that video at? Right here. Uh, but that's, we're not going to watch the video. Y'all don't watch the video. It's the comments. Okay, it all stem from these freaking um <laughs> I have been using it for 25 years. It's awesome stuff. So there are some people out there actually bragging on it. Uh that's a fluffy thing. I've never had squealing after installing my brake pads. But if you do that for a living, won't hurt to ensure no comebacks, squeakers. So maybe that's the shop's perspective. Maybe that's their reasoning. To ensure no compact comeback squeakers, what happened to <laughs> what happened to hashtag short? This brake quiet works too, but that go on the other side, and that's for basically vibration. Oh, what up, fluff? I had stop squeal every brake. Whoa, whoa! Every y'all see that? My man put this stuff on every freaking brake job, no matter the situation. No issues yet in eight freaking years. <laughs> So, I mean, if you're going to listen to somebody, at least listen to somebody out there in the industry, guys, is basically what, what, I, what I'm saying. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not bragging on this stuff. I'm just curious why the dealership was making. I'm a mechanic since 2003. I rarely use it sometimes for most people, blah, blah, blah. Uh, is this like graphite paste to help with the break-in? I'm assuming that. My buddy usually just does a few hard stops and uh, 
Yeah, the break-in period matters too. I've never had brakes make a sound till they were worn out, but good parts and won't have this problem. So in other words, his thing is you put on real good pads, you won't have this problem. A few years ago, I was using the product you painted on the backside of the pads. Okay, that's that rubberized stuff. I used to use that too. I, we don't use that no more. Uncle Mark, I have never tried something like that and also have not had new brake pads squeal. I think, Uncle Mark, if you did them day in, day out, daily, 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 uh, your percentage will go a little bit up. Okay, I have seen you use this. Oh, yeah. Oh, a, lot, a couple videos a while back. I, in fact, did. Can we have a video? Yes, Evelyn Rodriguez. Thanks for. Hey, this is my dude right here, Jason Picaro. He always saying something interesting. Let me see. Semi metallic brakes will squeak. Nature of that type of material. Ceramic pads don't squeak at all. Period. New rotors and hardware upgrade the pads. No comebacks. 100% JT. Uh, who was that? Jason. Call our boss and tell him that. All right. Yeah, graphite suspended in alcohol or acetone. More wallet draining snake oil. <laughs> so I don't think this guy's buying it at all. All right. Uh, so yeah, man, it, it's just interesting, man. Um, like I say, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. Evelyn Rodriguez. Nothing on that side. Okay, yeah, she had a problem with us putting it with me putting it on the the actual pad side. That's the part that freaked people out. They've never seen any kind of solution go on the actual pad. But in this case, my friends, uh, that is how it is to be installed. We used to straight up use grease new as a pad to bed them in. Just installing them, you wouldn't have any stopping power. Okay, that's another good thing. Will it affect stopping power? Power? I don't think so. No, use that on the brake surface. Here's a guy. There's <laughs> another one of those non-believers. No, wait. You're putting it on the wrong side. <sighs> I was like, no, sir. Uh, I'm not. In fact, this is the guy. Okay, I asked him to explain. Yo, now the stopping surface is contaminated. No, that is, in fact, how you're supposed to install it and what makes it work according to Valvoline. Then he go, good luck. Like, what the hell you mean, good luck? What, what is that? Yes, you do. Somebody jumped in. Yes, you do. You're supposed to put in. Okay, you use it. I'm not. And I go, we're not trying to convince you to use it. Just be careful popping off at the mouth when you're not sure of anything. He just, you put it on the wrong side, idiot. All right. I'm about to go in and ch chop it up with you guys, man. Uh, this, uh, so if you want to listen to, if you want to take, or if you want to hear from guys that's actually using it, uh, you heard from a couple of mechanics that uh swear by it okay uh i'm not one of them but i'm told to use it have i had any comment comebacks uh no because of using it no uh that's the honest truth okay but uh who am i i i, I don't own the place that's a fluffy thing the french pub uh, i have been using it for 25 years it's awesome all right so with that being known and said we done with this freaking topic all right uh yeah this is Valvoline version. BG has their own version. I'm sure Mock has their version. Everybody has their own version. Do it work? The verdict is still out on that. If you listen to a couple of mechanics, yes, it works great. My man, uh, Fluffy Mexicanic, been using it for the last eight years. I uh, haven't had any issues with it. What's your take? Yeah, my take is I'm using it because I'm told to. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Uh, I was told, man, said, put it on. I would hate to have a comeback and it is determined that I didn't, in fact, use it. Okay. That is the last thing I need on my squeezy record. Okay. Uh, I don't want to be charged with insubordination. Hello, Evelyn. Uncle Mark, what's going on, man? Uh, Turbo Tom, how are you, dude? Snowing. Wait a minute. Oh, you in Canada. Yeah. And y'all always doing some weird stuff out there. 69 Dark Man, what's up with you, man? Uh, negative 26. Holy crap. Oh, I keep forgetting, guys. We are, in fact, in December. <laughs> yes, it was 70 degrees today, but we are in December, y'all. Don't forget that small little fact. 35 here. That's what's up, man. Our man and Tom. So, I would take 35 over negative any day. What's up, MC such and such? How are you, my friend? I have used it before, but not for years. Yeah, we've been told to use it, so I got to follow the rules. You have a very good mechanic. I am a follower. Geraldo Vargas. Thank you, my friend, for watching the videos and tuning in. 
and all that good stuff. I appreciate it. All right. I don't remember putting on pad faces, but things have changed. Yes, that's what that other guy was uh fussing at me about. He kept telling me I'm putting it on the wrong side. I'm like, no, oh it do look, guys. If you haven't seen it done or done it, it do look weird. But why on brand new pads? It's I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Stop squeal. Yes. Uh Rocks Rose. How are you? Thank you for stopping in. I prefer the semi-metallic pads, and they tend to be more aggressive and noisy. See, you I ain't gonna say you a guy, because that would be that would mean or that would insinuate women don't do it. But uh if you, yeah, it's a mental thing, man. Think about it this way. You just you just put some freaking brake pads on your car, right? You get up the next morning, you're going to work, you hear squealing. Are you going to automatically assume, damn, I need some new brakes already? Right, so sometimes common sense have to kick in. No, it's just moisture. Like, like the people said, sometimes it may just be simple moisture or a little dust on them. That does not mean you need new brake pads. But we have certain customers that ain't trying to hear nothing. I they can just leave the shop. What the hell? Did I just I know good damn well I ain't just hear a squeal. Oh hell no. They turn around, coming right back because they just paid seven hundred dollars. You cannot tell a customer that just paid that much money. That's normal, ma'am. It's okay. They ain't trying to hear that. All right. Brakes didn't squeal from the factory. <laughs> so what you saying? So by that logic. All we got to use is the same parts that the factory use, right? If that's the case. If you never hear, if you go on a test drive, like you go in the shop, dealership, buy a brand new car. No brake squeal. All right. So 30,000 miles later, you need brakes. You put them on. Now you got to squeal. Why don't we use the same brake pads that the factory use if we're trying to avoid a brake squeal? Interesting. That's why I don't use AutoZone parts. What's wrong with AutoZone parts? Okay. Uh, from what I'm hearing is what the pad is made of. Now, AutoZone, just like any other parts store, sell semi-metallic or the other kind. I can't off the top of my head. But, uh, uh, yeah, everybody sell different brands or different kinds of. Uh, when it's been wet, I hear the rust scrubbing off in the morning. Yeah, that's going to happen, man. I recorded the uh, manager. Hey, where is that? Oh, hello, guy. Video of the imported important part where is it on your channel do you got a channel uh where the video at Helen? i agree i don't mess with autozone <laughs> y'all ain't about to sit here and pick on autozone i got a squeal on just one side after someone changed my brakes <laughs> who's that that's evelyn rodriguez evelyn maybe he should have used this put some of this on that on that side you was asking me about i wouldn't put nothing on that side maybe he should have some people call this a scam. Babylon just trying to make money. BG just trying to make money. Somebody has convinced somebody that that is good stuff and it worked. These new low toxicity brake pads really suck. Noisy. Yeah. I don't know, man. We try to use the top of the line stuff, but we still tend to 1% will come back. How y'all all from out here in South East Oregon? Blue Jay Outpost. Thanks for stopping in, my friend. Um, Yes, Blue Jay. My friend, appreciate you stopping by uh, Oregon here. Okay, New New West, New Northwest, or oh y'all way out there. God, cheap one squeal most. What do you call cheap? Who's that? Rocks, rocks. What do you got on your minivan? All right, you know minivan, semi SUV, right? It's kind of tall and got a little weight to it. Depending on what rocks got in the trunk back there or in the back. Okay, who knows? It might be heavy. So knowing that. When you get brake pads installed, do you ask for heavy-duty brake pads? Or your biggest concern is stopping power or noise. I ain't sure you can have it both ways. I ain't sure you can have it all. That's like asking for somebody that's a 10. Like, there's no 10. There's nobody perfect out there. Can you get that in a brake pad? I don't want no damn noise. I want to stop right on time, and I want everything. I don't want no overheating. I don't want nothing. I just want the perfect pad. Is that possible? I don't know. Uh, interesting. Blessing and uh, good G and King. Hardy Drill Streams. What's up? All right. Uh, damn, Portland. Y'all out there. HD metallic pads are the worst for noise. Did I just read something on there to say uh, HD metallic? Oh, but they stop better. 
So what's your priority? Uh, they work better when hot. <laughs> Stop squeal. <laughs> yeah, Fluffy, swear about this stuff. Uh, when I do pads, I, I break pretty hard a few times. Break them in. Blue Jay, I post. Good job. I had stop squeal every break job, no matter the situation. No issues yet for Asia. Like I say, guys, if you want to hear from somebody out there in the field, you're hearing it now. BG is no – this stuff, it all looked the same. When we was using BG, it was the same as this. So we got Valvoline now. Uh, I don't know who's the best. Uh, I have no idea. Four to five layers, right? That's a lot. Well, you might as well. Or they can do this when they assembly in the brake pads, when they're building them. Just pre soak them. They could take out a contract with Valvoline or BG. Look, we make brake pads. So we want to pre soak them in your solution and then put them in the box and then sell them. Okay. So that way the mechanic ain't got to do nothing. They already five layer soak. Who that? Cheap pads will not absorb. Stop squeal, though. What happened to my screen? Yeah, so can you buy them? I don't know if you can buy them already pre-soaked. Uh, cheap pads will not absorb. Stop squeal. Interesting. I use Permatex high temp ceramic brake lube. Purple stuff. Never seen that. Never seen that. Now, the stuff that go on the other side, guys, is rubbery and uh, tends to help with vibration, right? Because it, like, glues to the... To the caliber. The inner one glues to the piston. You ever seen that round circle on when you sh you spray all that stuff on? That helps with vibration. So I'm not sure how that stop squeal. That stops squeal by helping the pad avoid vibration. All right. So years later, they came up with something to put on the other side of the pad. Some company gonna always find a way to sell you some some stuff. <laughs> The semi-metallic pads and drill and slotted rotors we put on Sisters O 300M stops way better cold or high compared to them. Those slotted rotors, think about those, is they're expensive and ain't no resurfing those. I don't know if anybody would try to resurface those. So I don't know. Uh, I have nothing that will require slotted rotors. Okay. It's for preventing squealing as the pads wear. So it's inevitable, guys. It's inevitable. Ain't no way around it. It's gonna happen. I don't give a damn how much you stop. Your brake pads will wear out. All right. Yes. That's what killed me when a uh, company say, we'll sell you lifetime brake pads. I got a set now on my van from uh, AutoZone. Lifetime warranty. I have replaced them twice. Damn it, I'm gonna keep replacing them. I don't know how they're gonna make money doing that. I don't know if they got it, I don't know. But I have a set of lifetime warranty pads on my car. Remember, brake pads are going to wear out no matter what. Uh, how can you be lifetime? Now, And some people will say lifetime, mechanical lifetime as far as the back and play brake. No, this dude said pads. So when I go back in there, I'm hoping he's there to give me some new pads. Uh, yes, I want some new freaking pads every time. Hugo, what's up, man? Buddy, my FCA brother, what's up? When we doing Hellcat swaps, I want to put a 2.4 turbo, a.k.a. SRT4, in my 200. Oh, man. That's on you, man. Go for it, baby. I don't want no part of that, Hugo Sanchez. But thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, man. Uh, like I said, I just use it because I have to. Uh, I, have, I don't have a state, a dog in that fight. Uh, I haven't had a comeback because of using it. So, break lotion. What is Eric talking about? I, when I lift up a rig, I hand spin the wheel to make sure it doesn't have too tight. Blue Jay. I have a tight a drag as the caliber may need replacement. When you let it up in the air. Good point, man. Um, great observation. Going to have to replace the front rotors on the charger sometime. Uh, they were slightly warped when I got it. Still stop fine. Warp rotors, I'm I'm assuming you still can stop. You're just going to vibrate, especially if you're going highway speed. Do you have any videos on the oil cooler housing for the Jeep Cherokee? I have a 2019. Damn, man. 2019. Oh, the Jeep Cherokee. And it's leaking oil really bad. Uh, No, but the good news is it's no different than in any, other, any of the other ones. So uh, I guess you want to see what specifically have to come out out of the way to get to it 
Now, my uh, my videos nowhere near tutorial videos. Okay, and you got to remove this clip right here. Unplug the injectors one by one. Yeah, I don't. I can't make tutorial videos. I don't do tutorial videos, but they're no different. A Jeep Cherokee. That's a sideways engine. That's a front wheel drive vehicle. So it's no different than a caravan. If you never done one, you still don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, I have some on caravans. I can I can direct you to. All right, who's that? Cut textures take nine. Yes, give me a minute after the stream, man. I was wondering what it's made of. I don't know. The freaking uh, I wanted to read the ingredients, but my eyesight was never nowhere near let me see that. And I tried to pull it up, I couldn't. But uh, Fluffy said it works. I like ceramic pads best. Uh, yeah, I prefer ceramic pads. All right, y'all, some ceramic pads. Like, Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Happy holidays, Danny Holbert. Happy holidays to you too, my friend. Lots of times people don't flush out the brake fluid soon enough. Brake fluid flush. That is a service that we sell. Uh, that I've always had questions about, reservations about. The thinking goes, guys, with brake fluid flush, the goal is to get all the old brake fluid out and go in with new brake fluid, right? <laughs> Even on some of the brake flush jobs. <laughs> oh, that really happens. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, um, look, don't get me wrong. Okay. Your car got a bunch of miles on it. That is a much needed service. Okay. But some shops would tend to sell that service prematurely, all right? But the goal is still the same. Get all the old brake stuff fluid out and go in with new brake fluid. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what mile recommendations car maker make to get that done. It would be interesting to see data on it if it stop, if change stopping distance. Yeah, what company do you think going to invest in uh, providing that data? Okay, stopping resistance, stopping force with this on, but this ain't this ain't who that up upside. This ain't for stopping. This is designed to help with uh, noise. Okay, this have nothing to do with providing your car with good stopping capability. If it causes issues, BG, yes, the same with Valvoline. Uh, they, 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 hey, they take care of us when it comes to stuff like that. One customer live. My transmission went out after I did a Vaveline. Vaveline paid for his transmission. No, we did it at the shop. I have no problem telling. And <clears throat> that's why trouble codes are crucial. If we had looked at his RO and saw trouble codes already on it, they wouldn't pay for it, but they paid for it. So, yeah, they all pretty good with uh, warranting that stuff if something happened, man. I don't think ceramic pads stop as well, but everything stays clean, and I don't think they wear the rotors as fast. Interesting. What is your professional opinion and your friend opinion? My friend's opinion. I already showed y'all uh, Fluffy's opinion. Okay. He swear by it. Me, I have no dog in that fight. I use it because I have to. But um, everybody going to have to come to their own judgment if you. And again, guys, this is the people that I, I guess work in a shop that do breaks constantly every day, day in, day in, day out. All right. The goal is try to provide a customer from doing one of these numbers, turning around and coming back, okay? Because that's a bad look for them to come back and say, my brakes making that squealing noise again. So that's the whole goal we're trying to prevent. Stopping distance isn't the only factor. And heat capacity and resistance to brake pad is different with different types of pad. Yes, that is true. So the question remains, uh, I, I think I pulled up a piece of that article. What is the best pad? To help with uh, noise, stopping distance isn't the only, yeah. So brakes are the most important <coughs> on the rig. Uh, the worst part is the nut behind the wig. <laughs> Blue Jay Outpost, what's up, man? True ceramic pad have low rotor wear, excessive high temperature performance. Very interesting. It's about 72. Uh-oh, 72 in Tampa Bay, uh, 34 in Connecticut. Man, y'all got some good weather. So... Do we? It was snowing. Oh, ah, no, I ain't ready for no snow. What if I clean the contact material on the brake pads? I've seen guys do that on comebacks only. They'll take the pads off, put it on the uh, uh, sandpaper, and then coat it with that, and they don't see it no more. I don't know, man. 
Uh, you said common sense. Can you get that on sale? <laughs> Back on the yak. Be nice, man. Eric H. Uh, common sense. <laughs> At some point, common sense got to kick in. The ultimate test will be trying it on a big rig. Again, upside down. We're not, we're not talking about trying it from a stopping standpoint. Okay? We're talking about noise, squealing noise. All right? Whether it'll help with your squealing noise or not. Is it needed on brand new brake pads? Really, the BG stop squeal you put on the friction material works very good. There's another guy that's out there in the industry, guys. Uh, parts industry, service injury, whatever you have. It. So if you're looking for input from guys that's out there in the industry, and you just heard from two, and, uh, and the 69 Dark Man said some, some things, uh, and I read a couple of things. So, uh, yeah, that material works very good as it relates to squeal. That's what it's designed for. All right. Please don't put this on your car hoping you now somehow stop better. Oh my goodness. My brake, my brake pedal not going to the flow no more. You know why? Because I put this on there. It's a miracle. Now my brake pedal never goes to the floor and I can stop. No, it's not gonna help you freaking stop. Okay, stop it already. I had to get it off my chest because somebody out there thinking it's gonna help them stop. Common sense isn't common. It's on the back order. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got to have common sense, guys. I can use some brake squeal. Uh, Brimos are the worst. Whoa. Common sense is a 10-day quarantine. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> Hi. Right. Uh, I sent it to your Facebook. You sent what to my Facebook? Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my good friend, uh, Chris, a.k.a. known as Hella Guy, sent something to my Facebook. And he won't seem to tell me. Uh, it's the only new thing I got over here. And it didn't come for Chris. Somebody liked my video. Oh, they like the video that we actually own now. What is this messenger? Oh, uh, Chris, well, you must have sent it to uh, you must have sent it to the minivan site. Um yeah, you must have sent it. This is my JT the car guy. This is one I go to all uh, daily, uh guys. Hey, that's us. We live, guys. Look at that. Uh, see, StreamYard will let you uh, uh, stream to four different, five different platforms. So that's streaming right now on the Facebook page. Stanley Badger, this is my cousin. What's up, man? How are you? That is my kinfolk. But uh, yeah, I, I upload periodically on Facebook and, and the Instagram from time to time. That's the one from last week. That's <laughs> when I had the crazy head on. All right. Okay, here go Chris right here. This one. Can I hear? I can't hear. Let me see what Chris. Hey, guys, hold tight. I'm about to switch topics for a minute. I want to see what the hell this dude doing. Y'all give me a second right quick. Oh, he doing the, uh, okay, this is the recall. Well, that's a 2-4, right? Multi-air engine. See, I'm I'm done by the middle one. This one right here snaps every time. And Chris, I don't know if you can see me or hear me. Is it hot? Is the engine still hot? Ooh, that would look like it was gonna snap. Oh, you got the car running. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, guys. wait a freaking minute. Chris, you telling me this thing is running, so it's obviously hot. You're dealing with the exhaust side. Obviously, it's real freaking hot. Uh, you bold dude, my guy. Uh, continue. So you let it run. You loosen it up. What you about to do now? Yeah. Here you go. Oh, he's spraying some uh, it is uh, rust penetration. <laughs> oh, not the impact. <laughs> Guys, I break these every time. I, not intentionally, they just snap. Uh, 
lucky sucker. So is it not damn one of them break? <laughs> yeah, you know the nuts are gonna come off. You know the nuts are gonna come off. You heard them? All right, guys. This is top secret. This is G14 classified <laughs> FBI type stuff. All right. So this did not leave oh, our fire. This man got this shit off in one piece. <laughs> Everyone I do snap. Some way or another, some form of another snap, and it's a freaking recall. That's all of them, man. Oh, one more at the end. Hey, you home city. Don't grab it right now. It's still hot. I know a good deal when he's about to grab it. That's what's up, man. That is what's freaking up. If you pull that off without... um, So, he, he basically left it running. Uh, got it hot. Loosened it with with hand strength. And then went behind it with uh, with the impact. I can use some brake squeal memos in the words. Uh, common sense. That is, uh, hey, Dr. Art, what's up, my friend? How are you? All right, thanks for stopping by, man. I sent it to your Facebook. Hey, Chris, that was deep, man. I spray everything down with brake cleaner before I put anything in the brakes. You got a pad. A pad slap unless the rotors are bad, which was the case on the last two I did. Have a great night, my friend. Hey, Danny, thanks for stopping by, my friend. Where am I at? I'm at the 46 minute mark. So, uh, Dr. Art Rehab, what's going on, guy? That is what's up. I have to wait for better weather to check myself. So, Mark. <laughs> you mean next year, Evelyn? Wait a minute. Uh, even if the customers don't pay for Stop Squill, I haven't. Yeah, yeah, because you never use a whole that still apply. Yeah, you never use a whole freaking bottle. It takes five, six cars. I haven't. So, they laying around all over the place. Southeast Oregon here. Man, y'all way out there. But uh, that's what's up, hello. So how layers do you put on? One, at, number one, they say it's supposed to soak. It's supposed to soak it on. Okay. So, yeah, I I just put on, uh, I ended up doing one layer, and uh, that was a wrap for me. Okay. I couldn't, uh, yeah, I didn't want to do it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do it. Well, whatever ones cost me 80 at the store. What are we talking about? Oh, brake pads. Your brake pads cost you $80. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Uh, Scat Pack. Uh, Portland here also. That's what's up, man. All right, guys. Uh, Holly Berry. Uh, t- <laughs> hey, man. No, I, well, I, Who is that? Eric. If she's so much of a teen, why the hell is she get cheated on? Who's her boy? If she had a popular boyfriend, Eric. No, what was his name? The teens ain't supposed to get cheated on. Okay, obviously it don't matter. I don't know, man. Holly was a teen, and I, I mean, who am I to judge? I don't know Holly like that. Uh, so yeah, um, uh, yeah, this stuff, man. It's some, uh, that's some good stuff. Uh, BG, Stanley Badgett, what is going on, my friend? Vacation. I have to do front brakes on my buddy's truck tomorrow. He has C's right front caliber. Uh oh. Uh, whoa, whoa, look at that. A simple solution. It's fairly simple. All right, guys, I'm going to wind this down. Look for the edge code on the edge of the pads of the part number. EF and GE is worse. F is pretty good. F is really aggressive, and they have two letters. First is cold. Second is hot. That, my friend, is interesting. 69 dark, man. All right, that brake lotion is like when Foot Action tries to sell you shoe cleaner. Okay, uh, take your keyboard down for us to stop asking you to play. Oh, yeah, y'all like that? Hey, man, I'm working on my album, man. I should be done by the next year, uh, first of the next year. So, whoo, y'all ain't going to recognize me, man. Y'all be like, wait a minute, is that JT, the car guy? Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, just hold tight, man. Uh, not getting your beats out if you're not working on them. Yeah, I got 
I'm multitasking and I got 10 things going at one time. They weren't that expensive actually and worked really good from Amazon. Reviews were good, so took a chance. I think it was less than 200 on the full front set. That's what's up. I was on warranty them as long as they aren't metal to metal. I can prevent that. As soon as that wire indicator starts squeaking on that rotor, I'm going to get me some new uh, freaking pads. Brimo pads are perfect. I have no knowledge of this such pad. Brimo. Brimbo. Okay, but that's interesting. Okay, a lot of times I let the car slow, then hit the brake. Uh, brakes last long, longer. That is interesting. Okay, I'm going to replace my rotors in a few months. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, rocks rolls. Yep, they are barely warped, and then they don't stop as well. Okay. So, I have a Power Stop Z23 pass on our 2018 Pacifica, and that they are quiet. I also put brake lube on the calipers and the braking bracket before installing the hardware. Yeah, the slide pins, guys. You got to make sure you lube that stuff. But my man Ruli here using that Stop Z23 pass. I have no idea what that is or what they made of. Okay, but if really using it, I'm sure power stops are well regarded for the money. So I'm assuming it's a decent pad. Uh, don't get yourself into trouble for telling the <laughs> telling the truth. Brake flush is needed about every two years. We sell it every we sell it every six months, three months that we can get away with. Stop! I didn't say that. Okay, and yeah, it seems to get over. <laughs> hey man. Uh, Yes, uh uh, we're not gonna do that. We're not going there. AutoZone lifetime warranty on that brake pads includes wear. This is to get you back to the store so you can buy more. Well, it don't work with me. I'm telling you that right now. All right, it don't work with me. When I go in there, like, no, nah, man, I'm good, man. I don't need your little lube. I don't need none of that. I just need some more brake pads. All right, but they damn sure try. I give them that. I give them credit for crying, trying. Uh, brake flush is to rid of moisture in the fluid as it's hygroscopic. Keep fluid from boiling and rusting. Yes, it's needed. Uh, and for, yeah, from time to time, it's needed. I just think it gets a bad rap. <clears throat> Let me stop right there. Yeah, I ain't about to trick me, okay? No miles. Test the brake fluid to see how much moisture is in the fluid. Rots the line from the inside out. Yes. I've heard of such, Chris. I've had brake fluid boil on me once. Pedal went to the floor and lost brakes. Ooh, it's not fun. Dad Garage. Dad's Garage is another one out there in the field, guys. So uh, you can take what they're saying, uh, you know, to heart. Beat me to it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, there is a tester for water content and brake fluid. Just touch the tip of the master cylinder, and you can tell if the fluid is okay or not. We don't go by none of that. We just sell brake flush. All hell, Brimbo. Yeah. Brimbo pads. Brimbo brakes. Who go? Interesting, man. There's also an electric tester you can get for the brake fluid. I don't know none of this, man. What are y'all doing? Why am I so much in a bubble? What's up, my people? Tin Notch. What's going on? Really, I always wondered how rust developed inside the brake hydraulic system. Never seen it happen. And science says it's <laughs> BS. It's bullish. It's a sealed system, and oxygen is required for rust to form. Really bringing the laws of physics into this conversation. Seeing that I failed that course in high school, I'm going to set that one out. Uh, really, I have no idea, but uh, that is a decent observation. That's for damn sure. Okay? So much so coexists. It's laughing. Uh, water contains oxygen. Brake fluid absorb water yeah y'all on some physics stuff now boy y'all done threw me for a loophole i'm totally out of conversation just use acabono brake pads see here's another brake pad i have never heard of mike p out there mike p out there in the industry guys so there's another guy you can take what he's saying to heart anybody still use silicone brake fluid silicone brake fluid uh not me are you just a dodge guy no I am, however, 90% of the work I do see and do happen to be Dodge product. Okay. In other words, I'm not independent. I don't pull in a Toyota one minute, a Nissan the next minute, a Lexus the next minute. Okay. Yeah. I am. I do specialize, however, in Dodge and Chrysler product. 
When one sees darkish black in the master cylinder, it's the black rubber cup breaking down. A good fluid flush is great. Yes, if it's done correctly. Blue Jay, I'm not knocking the brake flush fluid exchange job, especially if it's done properly. That's the thing. From what I observe, it's never freaking done properly. All right. But yeah, when it's done properly, it can be a beautiful thing. So, yeah. Uh, silicone brake fluid is for special applications like racing, extreme high temperatures, water separates out of silicone fluid through and settles to the bottom, must drain water regularly. Wow, uh, never helped with my Toyota. Oh, Toyota guy, what's going on, man? That's what JT works on. What I work on, what I do, man, vehicle is running. Yes, vehicle was running, I heard that. Uh, that is interesting, man. Uh, good job. Okay, I will have to pull that up and keep that in mind. Now, uh, they on back order. I got two cars. I'm waiting on one right now, man. As a former U.S. Army mechanic, we use a version of this on our uh, on MVs and other vehicles. This stuff works sometime, and it doesn't. It really depends on the driver and how they brake. That, my friend, is interesting. Back on the yak. Um, yeah. That's deep. Uh, I use the Caterpillar and the C's on the spark plugs. Not excessive, though. Okay, Blue Jay. So, so, man. Remember when it was introduced, there were certain issues with, with it, so never tried it. Now, I think modern cars would definitely not be happy with it. It's modern cars. Water has oxygen. Oh, my God. Y'all really in the physics, but doesn't contain oxygen. Something would need to separate the oxygen atom from hydrogen atoms before oxidation rust can occur. What is that something? JT don't have a clue, all right? But it's interesting to read and find out. There isn't any need for it in the day-to-day -day use. I used to work on postal LLVs, and they were using dot five silicone fluid, their own policy. Oh, I was talking about affecting stopping distance, just like anything you put on the surface of a brake pad. Um, I'm just wondering, I've never used anything except lube on the slide pins. Yeah, this is stuff, man. Um, like I say, Valvoline came in and sold us to it. So it's a money thing also, guys. don't Please don't. Please keep that in mind. A lot of it has something to do with money, who can make what. Because we even get a spiff. Y'all know what a spiff is. We can get paid um, you know, for selling this. So naturally, we're going to sell it. Remember in chemistry class <laughs> when they taught you that each element has different chemical properties. And when chemical bond occurs, resulting molecules has different chemical properties. You ask me, do I remember that? No. But, uh, mm, uh, uh, Renegade, David, what's up, man? How are you? Uh, time for me to go. Dad's Garage, appreciate you, man. You guys have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. And all your input, I really, really freaking appreciate it. She got cheated on because he's a dame. Man, are you talking about Holly Bear? Man, what fool? Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> David said he's a damn fool. I can't remember the dude's name. He's a singer or something like that because a lot of men are idiots to cheat on. Yeah, they, I don't get it, man. Guess that would be Ionic I Bond. Uh, I'm replacing lower intake manifold gas on two seven seven. I'm about three four tonight. Not fun. That's what's up, Ruly. Piece of cake, ain't it? I don't know, but I'm sure it is. We say a brake flush once a year or 15k miles. Sounds good, my friend. My fluffy. Uh, did you take that advanced like No, I have not. Asian mechanic. No, I need to. I think I got to the end of this year, this month. We're in December now. I got to catch up on a lot of stuff, man. The three part. No, I have not. I heard it's hard too. I always buy a lot of time parts on our drivers that we like. All right, guys. Uh, did you no? Did I read that one already? Uh, uh, would you also sit this one? <laughs> I'm a professional mechanic. That's gonna be a no for me, big dog. Hey, Scott, it's your world, man. Oh, uh, hey. By no means am I trying to convince anybody to start using this stuff. I was just going through the motions. I put a video out that happened to do well, five, 6,000 views. 
uh, but I caught some flack in the process, okay? Some non-believers, such as Scott. Scott say he's a big no. Uh, that would be a no, a regular no then, all right? So, yes, I'm not here to convince you to start using this stuff, uh, but I did, I, did, I did find it to be a, a decent topic to talk about. Thank you, Scott, for jumping on, man. Uh, it's supposed to be the main factors of any mini Mopar GM and Motocraft Pass. So, yeah, I'm an OEM guy. Uh, we do further from Master 1, then closest last when flushing. Oh, you talking about Yeah, y'all got the actual machine, and y'all stuff probably working. Heat, heat separates the oxygen from water or moisture. In turn, causes issue. Don't stop me to lie. Uh, spongy brakes mean the viscosity of brake fluid has occurred. Interesting. Uh, Sarah, thanks for stopping by. How many cuts can a brake disc take? Uh, then my brakes, and now it has a weird sound as I am slowing down. I'm planning on buying a new disc. That might be your best bet, son of a god. Just go on, going in with some new, uh, some new, uh, Thank you, Evelyn, for stopping by. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, yeah, I got five minutes. I'm having throttle body problems with my 300. Your video helped. CJ Dis. I appreciate you, my friend, watching those videos. I really do. The journey owner here. Have you noticed any common issues on those vehicles? I own a journey, but mine's a 2012. The 09, not much different except it may be equipped with a four liter or, you know, it, in other words, it doesn't have the 36 Pentastar. So, no, nothing common about there's, there's no common like you you yell out journey, there's something you can yell out. Oh yeah, they do this all the time. No, not really, my friend. Oh, that's a real good car, man. That's what's up, Fluff. Thanks for stopping by, man. Keep shutting down that keyboard mechanics. Uh <laughs> not realizing we are I know, right? But I appreciate it, man. You caught you stopping by, man. Asian, what motor? Smooth. Not sure what that is. Uh, what chemistry I don't understand is your stream is staying around 45 views. But, man, upside down. I don't get that either. But they'll trickle in, man. Everybody, thumbs up the video for me, please. I have exactly three minutes. Yes, I know what you were saying. And uh, I'm going to wind this stream down. Yes, Hugo, thanks for stopping by. One now off the Fred Flintstone pass wear down. He used his foot. That is the bottom. Guys, appreciate y'all watching the stream and joining me. All right, I will see you guys Sunday. Yes. Uh, we in the final stretch, okay? Uh, as far as uh, trying to reach that 100,000 subscriber, I'm at 46, which means I need four more. That's four weeks in December, which means I need 1,000 subscribers per week. That should be easily pull off, but you never, you never know. Holidays come up and people stop watching YouTube. So if your braking system is good enough, enough to separate oxygen from hydrogen, and water molecules, uh, you have bigger problems. Ooh, I got bigger problems because I don't understand. Nothing y'all saying. Thanks for the info. Love the content. Smooth and riding. That's what's up, my friend. All right, Sunday's topic, break calibers. Uh, we can talk about that. Uh, what up, big time? Hey, that's my dude, man. Hey, this dude comment on the videos. Guys, those comments move algorithms. I appreciate it. I, you can just you can just comment one of these. I don't I don't care. Just my man Cal. He always got something to say. Slotted rotors and ceramic pads on Big Sexy. No issue. <laughs> I think he got a 2012 or something like that. Chrysler 300. If I'm not mistaken. I might be mistaken. But, uh, yeah, he called it Big Sexy, man. Awesome videos, bro. Help us with YouTube PhD. That's what's up. Guys, I'm going to wrap this up. This is at the bottom. Thanks all. Thumbs up. Uh, be swell, all. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. Come and subscribe. I'll see y'all Sunday.